Well, we have a surprise for animal researchers in California. A captive beluga whale that, get this, sounded like a human. When you're exploring the ocean's vast array of characters, you might not immediately think of beluga whales. But let me tell you about Mila, a beluga whale who became a legend for her heroic actions. The story takes place in Harbin, located in northeastern China, where a diver named Yang Yun found herself in a frightening situation during a diving competition. The goal was simple but tough. Dive to the bottom of a very cold, 20-foot deep pool without any equipment and try to stay as long as possible. This pool was home to beluga whales, including our hero, Mila. The tension increased when Yang Yun, struggling with the icy cold, got leg cramps, leaving her unable to move and in a dangerous situation. Here's where Mila, the friendly and playful beluga whale, steps in. Without hesitation, Mila seized Yang Yun's leg and, with her strength and agility, quickly propelled her to the surface, ultimately saving her life. The people watching were amazed by Mila's intelligence and bravery, celebrating not only Yang Yun's survival, but also the incredible actions of a beluga whale. Mila's rescue mission shows us how smart and kind beluga whales can be. Now, beluga whales have some cool features that make them stand out from other whale species. They have a melon, which is a fat organ on their forehead that acts like a super tool for communication. It goes beyond just looks as it helps them find their way and communicate with each other using a variety of sounds. This ability is essential for navigating and maintaining contact in the murky depths of the Arctic waters. Beluga whales also have some unique traits that might not immediately catch your eye. To begin with, they have a special ability to move their heads around, setting them apart from other whale species. This characteristic adds a playful and curious dimension to their personality as it enables them to look around more freely. It also distinguishes them as they can make eye contact with other sea creatures and even humans, fostering a rare and delightful form of interaction. But there's more to belugas than just being able to move their necks and being friendly. These adorable creatures are really smart when it comes to living together and communicating. Belugas communicate with each other using sounds like clicks and whistles, aiding in warning one another about danger and staying united. This clever teamwork and communication strategy elevates belugas to a prominent position in the Arctic, highlighting the significance of intelligence and cooperation in the wild. Belugas also hang out in groups called pods that can be just a few friends or grow to more than a thousand. They're really social creatures known for their ability to communicate in complex ways, proving they're meant to live freely. These gatherings aren't just for safety. They also serve as opportunities for belugas to shed their old skin on the rough seabed. They use their sounds to communicate and navigate the icy waters, while their playful interactions with humans reveal a world abundant with friendship and discovery. These jolly whales equally possess the ability to mimic a diverse range of sounds and demonstrate tool usage when in captivity, showcasing their remarkable intelligence. This has captured the interest of scientists who study their complex societies and communications methods. And then there's the beluga party trick, their amazing ability to imitate sounds, which has earned them the nickname Canaries of the Sea. In fact, a couple of belugas have even tried mimicking human speech. First up, let's talk about how six belugas were captured from 1977 to 1980. Among them was a young male only two years old called Nock, named after tiny biting flies. After being taken to the U.S. National Marine Mammal Foundation in San Diego, California, away from his whale family, Nock began mimicking human speech. In 1984, some researchers were diving with Nock when they heard sounds like two people talking. They were shocked when one of the divers came up and asked, Who told me to get out? 
They realized it was Nuck making these sounds. They found out his sounds had a similar beat to human talking and were much lower in pitch than usual whale sounds, more like a human voice. Sadly, Nock passed away in 1999 at 23 after spending his life in captivity, even working on secret Navy missions. His story shows the social nature of beluga whales and their eagerness to communicate. Similar to Nock, another amazing beluga whale named Lagosi, residing at the Vancouver Aquarium, exhibited a unique trait noticed by visitors. Unlike other whales that communicate using chirps and clicks, Lagosi produced sounds resembling those of a young child speaking. He could even say his own name. <coughs> Scientists have been curious about belugas like Lagosi for years because they make all these different sounds, some of which sound a bit like human speech. Studies show that whales, including belugas like Lagosi, pick up sounds from their environment and use this skill for more than just fun. It helps them talk to one another and find their way around the ocean. They also seem really keen to communicate with us humans. And let's not forget about Valdemir, the beluga with a story that could be straight out of a spy movie. People first saw him in 2019 near Norway, and he wasn't just any beluga whale. He was wearing a strange harness that made everyone think he might have been involved in secret missions, maybe even for the Russian military. The truth about where this harness came from is still a mystery. He got his name, Valdemir, by combining the Norwegian word for whale with Vladimir, which seems to nod to the Russian president. But Valdemir's story isn't just about mysterious beginnings. This whale has shown he really likes hanging around people. He's done things like picking up a smartphone someone dropped into the sea, playfully taking a diver's knife, and even playing catch with a rugby ball. These actions show how smart and curious Valdemir is, and they've made people really fond of him. Valdemir has also become a kind of a local celebrity, drawing tourists to the area. Although he sometimes gets in the way of salmon farms nearby, his presence has helped create new opportunities for people to see him up close. A group called Team Valdemir, established by an organization called One Whale, is dedicated to the ensuring of the safety and well-being of Valdemir while also maintaining a balance between tourist interest and the local economy. Their primary objectives include educating people about Valdemir and safeguarding him from potential threats, all while minimizing disruption to the salmon farms. They've gone as far as closing a bridge to reduce public access, making it easier for their team to reach him quickly. Experts like Lindsay Rubencam are working hard to keep an eye on Valdemir. They're tracking where he goes and checking on his health, and they're even studying the sounds he makes. During a phone conversation with NPR, Rich German, the president of One Whale, revealed plans to establish a vast marine reserve in northern Norway. Initially spanning approximately 500 acres, the reserve will be dedicated to Valdemir's rehabilitation, aiming to restore his strength and health before reintroducing him to the wild beluga whale group. This initiative is seen as the first step, with hopes of assisting more whales in the future. Beluga whales, like the well-known Valdemir, really enjoy a varied diet. They munch on fish, octopus, squid, and much more, eating up to 3% of their body weight each day. That means they're gobbling down 40 to 100 pounds of food daily. Their eating habits change with the seasons. During summer, they really like Arctic cod and capelin. Belugas are pretty smart when it comes to finding their food. They work together using bubbles to trap their dinner and use echolocation to find their way in the dark, murky Arctic waters. Their method of eating is pretty simple. Find their food and gulp it down without chewing. Whether they're hunting Arctic cod in the Beaufort Sea or looking for shrimp and halibut near Greenland, belugas are pros at making the most of what their environment offers. They're truly experts at navigating and thriving in the Arctic's bountiful food scene. Now, talking about how beluga whales manage to survive, these whales have some neat tricks to stay safe from big threats like orcas and polar bears. What's their main strategy? Sticking together. This teamwork makes them more alert and better at protecting each other, especially the little ones, from orca attacks. When it comes to avoiding polar bears, belugas dive deep into the ocean where the bears can't go, keeping their young safe. Their white skin also helps them blend in with the ice, making it tough for polar bears to spot them from above. Sharks aren't usually a problem in the Arctic, but belugas can dodge them too. Their quick moves and the way their white skin blends in with the light on the ocean surface can confuse any sharks that do come around. 
These smart strategies help belugas survive in their cold, icy world. Looking at the bigger picture, belugas face various challenges in different places. Let's take a look at Alaska's Cook Inland belugas as an example. Back in the 1970s, there were about 1,300 of them. Fast forward to recently, and their numbers have dropped to just 331, even though people have been trying hard to protect them. Their situation really shows the bigger picture of what beluga whales are up against, like losing their homes, pollution, and the noise we make affecting their ability to talk to each other. Now over in Canada, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Some groups of belugas are in danger because of too much hunting and their homes being destroyed. But then you have places like the Eastern Beaufort Sea, where the belugas are doing okay thanks to agreements on how much hunting is allowed. Efforts to help these whales are all about putting rules on hunting, especially for the indigenous folks for whom hunting is a part of life and making sure their most important living spaces are safe. There's a lot of focus on helping the belugas in Cook Inlet bounce back. Despite efforts, over 300 belugas live in captivity across various countries, a stark contrast to their natural icy homes. In 2018, a big step was taken with the creation of the world's first beluga sanctuary in Iceland by the Sea Life Trust and the Whale and Dolphin Conservation. This place offers a new start for two belugas, Little Grey and Little White, who were moved there from a park in Shanghai. Now let's talk about why this is so important. Belugas in the wild can live up to 60 years, but when they're kept in captivity, they often live only half as long, hardly making it past 30. This big difference shows how crucial their natural homes in the cold Arctic and subarctic waters are. Belugas are really good at living in some of the coldest places on Earth, like Alaska, Russia, Canada, and Greenland. They can move from icy areas to the more sheltered spots when it gets warmer. As the weather changes, these whales travel to find the best conditions, showing their amazing ability to adapt. Beluga whales have some pretty cool ways of having babies. Male belugas are ready to be dads when they're about 8 or 9 years old, and females can become moms from the age of 4 to 7. They look for partners from March to May, and after they mate, the mom-to-be carries the baby for 15 months. During this time, she picks a quiet bay or estuary to give birth. Often, you'll find a top male hanging around with several females. When beluga babies are born, they're not white like their parents. They start off gray or brown and get whiter as they grow up. These little ones stick by their moms, nursing for two years. By the time they're five and fully white, they're ready to join in on the beluga social scene and continue the cycle of life for their species. Isn't it fascinating how these creatures live and grow? It's like a whole other world under the sea. For us to really understand how amazing beluga whales are, we need to look into how they live, what they eat, and the important role they play in the Arctic. It's super important to protect these incredible whales and their cold homes to make sure they're around for a long time. By working to keep beluga whales safe, we're doing more than just looking out for these awesome animals for future generations to see and enjoy. We're also taking care of a big piece of our planet's wildlife variety. These efforts help keep the natural balance, letting us all enjoy and marvel at the many different kinds of life out there.